Christopher Marlowe's death, murder, conspiracy, or staged demise? Welcome to another amazing video where we will discuss the mysterious death of Christopher Marlowe, the renowned Elizabethan playwright and poet. Although Marlowe's death was officially ruled as a murder in self-defense, there has been a long-standing theory that he was actually murdered. In this video, we will explore both the official story and the murder theory, as well as the potential suspects and motives behind Marlowe's death. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more interesting and mysterious facts. Without wasting any more time let us start the video. Background Christopher Marlowe was born in Canterbury, England in 1564, just two months before William Shakespeare. He was a bright student, earning scholarships to attend the prestigious King's School in Canterbury and later Cambridge University. While at Cambridge, Marlowe wrote several plays and poems that demonstrated his talent and ambition as a writer. After leaving Cambridge, Marlowe moved to London to pursue a career as a playwright. He quickly gained a reputation for his bold and controversial works, which often tackled taboo subjects and challenged conventional morality. His most famous plays, such as Dr. Faustus and Tamburlaine the Great, were immensely popular with audiences but also drew criticism from religious leaders and conservative scholars. Marlowe's literary success was matched by his reputation for living a wild and bohemian lifestyle. He was known to frequent taverns, engage in brawls, and have relationships with both men and women. His association with known conspirators and his suspected involvement in political intrigue only added to his notoriety. In 1593, Marlowe was arrested and accused of heresy, as well as being suspected of being a spy for the Queen's government. These charges were serious and could have resulted in his execution. However, before he could be brought to trial, Marlowe was killed in a tavern in Deptford, London. The circumstances surrounding Marlowe's death have been the subject of much debate and speculation over the years. Some have suggested that his death was related to his political activities, while others believe that he was killed for personal reasons. Regardless of the cause, Marlowe's untimely death cut short a promising literary career and left behind a legacy that continues to fascinate and inspire people today. Official Story According to the official story, Christopher Marlowe was killed on May 30, 1593, in a tavern in Deptford, a suburb of London. The circumstances of his death were described in a coroner's report and witness statements taken at the time. The coroner's report states that Marlowe was in the company of three other men in the tavern, Ingram Frizzer, Nicholas Skears, and Robert Poley. Frizzer and Marlowe got into an argument over the bill. Frizzer, who was a servant of Marlowe's friend Thomas Walsingham, pulled out a dagger and stabbed Marlowe above the right eye, killing him instantly. Skears and Poley, who were both known associates of Walsingham and involved in espionage, were present but did not participate in the altercation. They testified that the stabbing was done in self-defense, as Marlowe had attacked Frizzer with a dagger first. Frizzer was subsequently arrested and charged with murder, but was later acquitted after claiming self-defense. The official story suggests that Marlowe's death was the result of a personal dispute over money and not related to his political or religious beliefs. However, some scholars have questioned the veracity of the coroner's report and the reliability of the witnesses, given their connections to Walsingham and espionage. Furthermore, there are inconsistencies and gaps in the official story that have fueled speculation and conspiracy theories about Marlowe's death. For example, there is no clear motive for why Marlowe would have attacked Frizzer with a dagger, or why Frizzer, a servant, would have been carrying a dagger in the first place. Additionally, there are no records of Marlowe's burial or funeral, leading some to question whether he was actually killed or if his death was staged to allow him to escape persecution for his political activities. Murder Theory While the official story suggests that Christopher Marlowe's death was the result of a personal dispute over money, there have been numerous alternative theories and speculations about the true cause of his demise. Some scholars and researchers believe that Marlowe's death was politically motivated, and that he was murdered by agents of the Elizabethan government or other powerful individuals who saw him as a threat to their interests. One theory suggests that Marlowe was killed because of his involvement in a plot to overthrow Queen Elizabeth I and replace her with her Catholic cousin, Mary, Queen of Scots. Marlowe was known to have associated with a group of Catholic sympathizers and exiles who were actively working against the Queen's Protestant regime. Some believe that Marlowe may have been a double agent, spying on these conspirators for the government, which would have made him a liability for both sides. Another theory suggests that Marlowe was killed because of his suspected atheism and blasphemy. Marlowe's plays and poetry were highly controversial for their depiction of characters who challenged religious authority and questioned the existence of God. 
Some have speculated that Marlowe's radical beliefs may have made him a target of religious authorities or vigilante groups who saw him as a threat to the established order. There are also those who believe that Marlowe's death was staged and that he faked his own death in order to escape persecution or death at the hands of the government or other powerful groups. Supporters of this theory point to the lack of reliable evidence about Marlowe's death, such as the absence of a proper burial or funeral, as well as inconsistencies and gaps in the official story. While the true cause of Christopher Marlowe's death remains a mystery, the various theories and speculations about his demise continue to intrigue and inspire scholars, writers, and enthusiasts alike. Regardless of whether he was murdered, executed, or staged his own death, Marlowe's legacy as a brilliant and controversial writer endures to this day. Suspects Due to the various alternative theories and speculations about the true cause of Christopher Marlowe's death, there have been numerous suspects and individuals implicated in his demise. One of the primary suspects in Marlowe's murder is Ingram Frizer, the man who allegedly stabbed him. While Frizer claimed self-defense and was later acquitted of the crime, some believe that he may have acted on behalf of a third party, such as the government or other powerful individuals. Frizer had ties to Thomas Walsingham, who was a cousin of the Queen's spymaster Sir Francis Walsingham and may have been involved in espionage and political intrigue. Another potential suspect is Robert Poley, who was present at the scene of Marlowe's death along with Frizer and Nicholas Skears. Poley was also known to be involved in espionage and had ties to the Walsingham family. Some have speculated that Poley may have been involved in a plot to silence Marlowe, either because of his religious or political beliefs or because he was a potential threat to the government. Others have suggested that Marlowe was targeted by religious authorities or vigilante groups because of his controversial views on atheism and blasphemy. For example, some have pointed to the involvement of Richard Baines, a government informant who accused Marlowe of atheism, as a potential suspect in his death. Some have even implicated Queen Elizabeth I herself in Marlowe's demise, suggesting that she may have seen him as a threat to her reign and ordered his assassination. However, there is little concrete evidence to support this theory and it remains a matter of speculation. While the identity of the true culprit or culprits behind Christopher Marlowe's death remains a mystery, the numerous suspects and potential motives continue to fascinate and intrigue those interested in his life and legacy. Conclusion So, was Christopher Marlowe murdered? While we may never know for certain, the evidence suggests that there is a strong possibility that he was. The official story of a tavern brawl may have been a cover-up for a carefully planned assassination, and the inconsistencies and suspects linked to the case only add to the mystery. Christopher Marlowe's death may forever remain an unsolved mystery, but his legacy as one of England's greatest playwrights and poets lives on. That's all for today. Please tell us your views in the comment section and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.